guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on Fishing Planet. Um, we've done a couple of Fishing Planet videos lately, so we're gonna do another. Um, this is how to catch common carp. Um, it's not gonna be a guide for what to use, but I will show you a quick one through what I am using and what I would recommend to use. So, there's two good spots for them. Um, we'll show you both. But first, we have two rods. Uh, this is the deep. We first have this uh heavy chaser. This is a DLC rod. Oh my god, a carp. This is not a. This is a bottom rod. I'm gonna be using keys. Um, corn. You can use peas too. Um, you don't have to. Next, we have this heavy, um, deep horizon 13 pool and sport carp rod. We have some spicy because it's the only thing I've unlocked at this level. So let's mix that and put it on. I wouldn't recommend this, but that's all I have unlocked at this level 35. I only unlocked this map a level ago, so I, I'm pretty new to it. But let's put that on. We have everything here. It's a pretty strong rod, guys. We have this boily, um, I believe this is a, yeah, this is a. Crab sinking boy, really. it's just savory. Um, but don't use these rods, guys. They're DLC and they're pretty overpowered, so you can get full XP. Now these carp aren't good money, but they're great XP. So if you're going for XP, these are the guys to go for. Not so much money though, but they're super fun. I love sending out a carp rod, bottom rod, and fishing rod. So the first spot is right actually near the boat dock. So you spawn at the boat dock, and you don't drive anywhere. You just uh, fish off the dock. Uh, it's not the best spot, but it's the second best spot. So. If you like fishing from boat docks, then that's the place to go. So, you just come up here. We have, we're going to sit down on a rod stand. We, guys, you can also use uh, corner peas on your carp rod, too. Or semolina balls work, too, I think. But we're not going to throw that out, actually. We're throwing our, our heavy chaser. Remember, these these guys won't give you full XP because they're super overpowered, except for, like, big trophies and uniques. I haven't caught a unique yet. I've caught plenty of trophies. My biggest is about a 30-pound trophy, so that's my biggest. Uh, we're going to throw that guy out there with the corn. That's about about 11 feet deep. That's too far. I'm just going to reel that in a little bit and set that bad boy down. Then we're actually going to grab our carp rod here. And toss it out about the same a little shorter this time um let's see there we go that should be good now we're just gonna wait for the fish to bite um so guys we didn't catch any fish it's been a while so we're gonna go to the best spot in my opinion it's actually at here at the fishing the beaver the fishing beaver um you're gonna go here you're gonna go it's just a little tiny island you're gonna point this direction with the building and you're gonna you see that like a little island tiny island there and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cast a little bit of short of that i would say 110 through 125 is kind of like the best spot to do it um so we're gonna cast that sit that down that's the bottom rod now with the piece now let's get our carp rod out remember there's many different ways to set up carp rods whether it's with weights method leads spice method feeders method leads you know um boilies uh, many different ways to set up carp rods so it's up to you how you want to do it um that was a bad cast so we're gonna recast out there got a pre pretty perfect for these carp guys i cast a little short there though so we're gonna cast back out there let's see if we can catch something and let's see um there we go you do have to put the method on now remember guys you can do set up the carp rods many ways um this is the best spot right here. Just cast a little short of that. That is my favorite spot. And we're getting something on the feet bottom rod. Or feeder rod, I think this is. We're going to take this dude. Um, he seems pretty nice. He hit pretty hard. Like, a, I think a 9, 10 pounder is not going to fight like this. So this might be a trophy. Definitely not a unique. A unique would fight a little bit more because they'd be like 40, 50 pounds, even 60 pounds. I don't know if they get up to 60 pounds here. Once you get to Weeping Willow, Sand, or Majesty Lake in Europe, they do get up to like 60, 70, and even 80 pounds, you know? So they get pretty big there. Up here, they only get to like to maybe 60, I would say, at max. And that'd be very rare. Normally, you get to like 40, 50 pounds here because I haven't caught one yet. But this is a nice fish here on the corn. And you can use peas. You can use sweet corn and sweet peas which you unlock later in the game. This is a nice one, yeah, that's a beautiful one. Trophy common carp, 25 pounds. So still five pounds short of my PB, but still a beautiful fish. As you can see, a lot of XP. Not the greatest money for a 25 pound fish though. But yeah, you can use corn peas. You can even use semolina balls, they work too. We got a fish here on the carp rod. So let's go ahead. I am actually grinding for a unique one. Um, that's why I'm using this heavy rod, just so I can get them in quickly, and see, can I can maybe find, like, catch a unique, I'm just not even doing it for anything, but the kinks, but this is not a very big one, just a normal size one, yeah, seven pounder, that's actually a pretty small one, 
They get smaller, but that's a pretty small one, not gonna lie. But nice, I do like carp. They're beautiful, amazing fish, guys. That's it for this video. Short little video, but we'll see.